going on YouTube and cryptocurrency family. My name is Harry and I'm the crypto vet and sorry these videos have been delayed still getting everything set up here trying to figure out the Twitch stream getting audio and all that crap set up but I promise I'm still updating the discord so if you haven't yet like subscribe the only way I can spread these videos out um, the usual peeps still coming back I appreciate it so much but not getting any new peeps so um, you know I want to bring this information to anybody else and I guess uh, I'd would appreciate your help if you could help me spread the word to more people because like I said I'm not trying to get anything out of anybody I just enjoy doing this and since I have the free time I'm updating and doing these videos as a hobby while I'm doing my own personal trading which makes me the money that I need so um, without further ado let's go ahead and dig into the charts and see what is going on okay here on coin market cap let me just scoot Oh, that's the wrong thing. Scoot this over just a little bit. There we go. Uh, we can see Bitcoin is currently down 2.43%, a little bit below the 10.5 mark where we really wanted to see Bitcoin at. Ethereum under $400 and XRP surpassed by Tether is down 3.12% back down to almost a quarter i saw it as low as 24 something when i was trying to stream and trade yesterday um, right now not too many big gainers looks like eos is up just a tad and just going down we have CeeLo. not sure what that is it looks like omg's on a nice little pump again but still down from where it was we got digibyte up 12 i have some digibyte maybe it's time to take some profits uh, maybe not let's Yep, so not much else going on down here, um, but unfortunately, I don't have the best news for everybody. Uh, but something I did see that was interesting, and this is more positive than anything. This is Apple erases entire crypto market cap in three days, and that's only a fifth of Apple's value. So if we come back to here, the total crypto uh, cryptocurrency market cap right now is $340 billion, with a B, billion. That's how much Apple lost during this last crash that we just had here the last two days, yesterday. So uh, I'm gonna put this article in the description. It's already in my Discord if you wanna read it. Um, but this is my favorite, favorite dude, Alex uh, Dovinia. I'm not sure how to say that. I'm sorry if that wasn't correct. I'm not trying to attack you, Alex. It's just, you still have not answered me back on your shit article. Just saying. Uh, but here he just talking about how big Apple is overall. And if you think about cryptocurrency now, it's going to get to that big. So if one, just one company, like one coin, one company is able to achieve a $2 trillion market cap, you know, why can't cryptocurrencies do that and more since it's based off of finances in general? All right. So that's just my two cents on all of this here. Uh, the article will be in the description, but let's go ahead and get started with the analysis. So here on Bitcoin, let me take off these indicators. We don't need those when we're trying to trade or look at just general TA. We'll bring the visible range off for just a second. And just looking at this, I kind of see a Bart Simpson pattern. I'm just stepping back. It looks like we came up, tried, kept trying, kept trying, and it, it ain't gonna work. So right here on the beginning, you can also see that we kind of had maybe a little head, whoops, a little bit of a head, sorry, shoulder, head, shoulder, and now we're back here to the start. Well, head and shoulders patterns typically break to the downside. It's not a perfect one, but you can kind of see the market psychology. We tried, came down, why does it keep coming up? And then tried a little bit harder, came down and then not quite. So after that, it's kind of like, eh, not ready to try that much harder. We're more likely gonna go down. So we see that pattern kind of forming. We have just sideways trading where we've broken down below uh, previous supports. Well, these are bearish in the short term. And now, even though I am still bullish in the long term, if you ask me where I think it will the price be higher than 10.5 by this time next year, yes. So, but everybody wants to know where the price is going now. So um, my opinion is we're going to get rejected right here. We had a lot of force telling us to go up. We had this long wick almost to a, like a hammer curl uh, candle chick pattern, but didn't quite do that. Ended up doing more like a morning star kind of deal. Shows that we were quickly bought up down here. So here we're good. But right up here, we haven't decided yet. And with this four hour closing, 
we have let's see two out two and a half hours left before this candle closes and we're showing still indecision um within the same range and we didn't even create a higher high to the previous candlestick now a lot of this can change in the next two and a half hours but my point is is we may be coming up to our next resistance right above us and what do you know it's not even above 10.5 which is the one that we've been wanting to get above so right now I'm expecting a drop, uh, maybe not fast, it could trickle down and then once we hit like 10, uh, drop to like 8800 would probably be the move. Yeah, because with just the initial size rally into the pattern, so from there to there, we'll just make this one simple. But I would still, oh my lord with this button. I just got a new mouse, so I'm still trying to get used to it. So, top of the rally. So that puts us down to about, probably around 9,000, because I think I'm a little low. <clears throat> well, actually, I'm a little high. There we go. So coming out to the bottom here. Yes, so that would bring us about to about 8,800-ish, around there. So we'll kind of see how it plays out. Uh, let me delete this. Um, if if you were uh, in the Discord, you could see that I had put a box up. I can't pull the Discord up, but I pulled a box up that showed where I expected it to fill out. Um, so to in order for that to fill out, the box was just a little bit lower. But check out the Discord, and it has like my price predictions and stuff when requested, all of that stuff. Um, but for right now, I definitely expect a uh, move to the downside. We are potentially forming oops, to go to the weekly handles here. Here, um, a complete bearish engulfing candle, right? And if we don't recover here, we may be mimicking what we saw here, which is another a try, but most of the candle bodies towards the bottom, and then boom. So in the next two to three weeks, we could be right in this area. And you know, with the volatility of crypto market, that's completely possible. So uh, definitely just watch out on Bitcoin. Um, as far as Ethereum goes, let's move to a bigger window here. Let's do the four hour. Okay. And take off me and this mouse. Okay. So yeah, here on Ethereum, we had what was like a little head and shoulders pattern here. Here was the neckline and we broke there to the exact point, which would be the initial fall of the rally. However, we went a little further. We found good support around 400. We lost that. Okay, buttons. Uh, but we lost that support, and now we are trying to re-obtain the $400 mark. Do I think Ethereum's gonna get there? I do, but I think we're still gonna see another drop right back to where this wick is, this 360. Um, I said, you know, these markets pull together, and even though we have more of a, a bullish setup on Ethereum than on Bitcoin, it's, I mean, I guess technically the same. There's just still more of a hammer candle before on the four hour. Um, there's still some bullishness to Ethereum only because if people still want DeFi, they still have to use it, and they don't give a shit about the $100 fees if they're making money. So... Ethereum still has bullish, more bullish sense than any of the other ones in my opinion right now. However, I do think that we may retest this 360, just like in Bitcoin where we were doing 11.1. You can see that this mark has been tested by Ethereum. So I'm definitely expecting this to drop down a little bit lower. Hopefully Ethereum holds at 360 and then goes up from there and doesn't take as much of a plummet as Bitcoin. But in the short term, still uh, bearish, just not as much of a not as much damage to be done to Ethereum. And now for XRP, I'm kind of going to neutral here. I have the Fib retracement on the whole rally on the four-hour market chart. We had a descending channel that we were following. We dipped out of it a little bit here to test the new high, and then now we are below it, and we are testing it as uh, resistance now. Um, the nice thing about this specific resistance spot here is it's right at a big even. So the big even of 25 is right here, which is very good support. So now we also have resistance tightly above it, which is the descending channel. And then we also have the fib lines 
0 as well as 0.236, which we can see we had as resistance here, and then here, um, or sorry, support for a little bit, resistance, and then flip back. Um, so we have this here right above it. So I think that with the decline of everything, we may drop down, but the moving averages on XRP have been so good, and we've increased so much in the past few months here that we have a lot more momentum. So I think that there may be a chance that we could break up, build some new support, at least maybe get another test up here to the 30 cent point. So just something to take an eye on. I will be trading live XRP um, while I play video games and streaming, which will be right after this video comes out. So if you want to hang out for that, ask me questions, please, you know, come chill. I will stop playing my game to look at charts if uh, you're really, really interested in it. Or if you want to casually talk, of course, I can do that and play as well. But so that's going to do it here. Um, we're just kind of waiting to see what happens in the short term. I do expect all of them to drop a little more. I think I can get another test of this 24, if not at least the 2450. And so right now being at 2550, if I can plan this top here, I might build a nice short high leverage from here to there, which would be a nice couple hundred dollar profit on a small bet. So, um, yep, yeah, that's it for today. Uh, please like and subscribe. Um, I, you know, in the last two weeks, I haven't had much growth on the channel, mostly because I haven't been able to do daily videos. But um, if you could please spread the word and uh, let other people know who may be interested or just are curious, uh, I'm here to answer questions. So I, I can't tell you guys how much I appreciate the the support. You know, just to have 500, almost 500 people who watch my videos just to see what the fuck I got to say. So thank you guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.